Hi there, sign of Aquarius. This is Kim here to do a reading for you guys. This is going to be a next 48 hour reading. I'm using Osho Zen Tarot and I have been pulling Celtic crosses for everybody. I hope you're doing really, really good on this beautiful day. Opening up to Aquarius's spirit guides for angel, angels, ancestors, as long as the message is for positive. What messages do you have for the sign of Aquarius? Oh, spirit. Whoops, that was a weird cut. I don't know why that happened. Uh, Page of Pentacle in the reverse. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Same spot for that one. Ah, oh my gosh, very similar to uh, Leo's reading. Jeez. <clears throat> Okay, look, if the outcome weren't so great, <laughs> I, I probably wouldn't be sticking with this reading. But listen, the outcome's awesome. Um, there is definitely a feeling right here that we could possibly be going through some kind of temporary struggle. Um, finances or... or um, health or worry over somebody's health but remember these are next 48 hours so this is temporary and there's something really good that comes in um somebody's not wanting to repeat a lesson or something like that on the bottom of the deck um four of wands past energy uh, that has to do with whatever it is that you're in participation with or people that you are working on a goal together. This could be, um, no, practice makes perfect. Something worked out here. The moon in reverse, the five of pentacles. Goodness, and the ten of swords. Look, it's another five of pentacles, ten of swords. Five of pentacles, ten of swords. Holy crap. Wow. Feeling kind of left out. Um major betrayal that led to a complete restart a reset a reinventing of everything especially what it meant for what you're committed to or something that was brought to light it has to do with a person's commitment um because of the king of pentacle and the reverse you could be upset with this person um over money matters or over something that has to do with money so there can i feel like the, these five of pentacles guys is a temporary financial struggle we will find out because i'm promising you every single sign has gotten leo got it in the same exact place too um something is feeling less than magical nobody wants to take a risk uh, in, in investing and so something's not moving forward with with the pentacles or with commitment to um business finances i'm sorry i wish i that this reading was like okay well i'm glad that it's the way that it is because something really good and fortunate happens in the outcome here especially when you listen to your own intuition um your own energy is right here in the environment and that's the star energy so you're focused on realizing what it is here that you're visualizing that you want to expand for yourself um the problem is not wanting yeah there's something that is going to require an investment and it's not really a problem it's a matter of finding out where something's going to come from I, I feel like that's what what it's saying more than anything it's a matter of where does something come from these lots of tens <laughs> lots of completions this is taking new form this is more than just um this is a rebirth um but it's also how you're feeling is like brand new like something completely different somebody's energy might be suffocating your energy i'm kind of feeling like that with the um queen of swords like a little overbearing or making you feel like you're trapped or always looked at i don't know i'm getting that only because the bar is there too 
um, uh, if it's not that and it's just this archetype, then it's um, you taking focus on your uh, rebirth, on what you're, yeah, on the star energy, on what you're wanting to see um, happen. There's more possibilities out here than what you have considered. Wow. The star twice. That's your energy is twice. So how are they going to deal with this five of pentacles in the future? Tell me that. The sun. <laughs> with the sun. With something lighting up. Um, this is happiness times whatever. You know, it's exponential happiness. It's new things. Um, new relationships. New experiences. New people sometimes. And if it's talking about money, then yes, it's fortunate and lucky um, with the sun. And I feel like there is something that's going to be just luck because it's time for it to turn for you. And whatever this is, it will be like you're having um, fun fun while you do it too. And, and like I said, there's a lot of hope here. Wow. Tell me about the two of cups. Why is it in the reverse? Why is the two of cups in the reverse? Uh, well, because of losing confidence in somebody in, in a partnership and losing confidence in someone. Um, or we're not going to be overconfident about uh, the success or failure of, of a partnership here. We know that we're in for some good luck, though. Wheel of Fortune, High Priestess, you're in for some good luck. All the stars, all the possibilities. Yet, there's something, what is something missing? It's an issue from the past. Issue from the past because of the Ace of Wands in the reverse. Tell me more about what's missing. The Eight of Cups. Maybe it's what is missing is that you really need a break or a vacation at this moment. Um... Also, you could be missing a family member if it's like something like that, something where somebody went um, or left a situation, six of swords. Both of these could mean travel. Um, maybe you're even trying to emotionally detach from the situation. Um, stoic is the name of the game when you have the queen of swords energy. We have the full energy also. Something being revealed about taking a leap of faith and having new vision going forward. It's a good, it's a good reading. Wow, Wheel of Fortune on the bottom. It's a good reading. It's um, it's got a lot of heavy stuff, but it has um, it has that everything is turning, uh, in in due time and in the right time for you. It will be the right time for you. Is what I'm getting. Now that's what I've got for your reading. I'm going to pull a few Oracle cards for you too. If you needed something private or personal um, and you felt like this resonated, just reach out to me in the description box below is my email address and how you can get a private reading. Um, I have Diamond Child, born between 2010-2011. I have Chakra Healer, Clearing and Balancing. Oh wow, I have number 33. Master number 33, the master teacher, ruling planet, Neptune. Wow. Okay. Ooh. Forest muddled or unclear thinking. Muddled or unclear thinking. Apple temptation will test you. Tower, solid foundation, success with effort. Uh, lightning, this one wanted to come out earlier. Control your anger or you will be sorry. Something dropped on the floor. Oh, there's two wind chimes, peace and harmony. And then candle, you will be shown the way. Candle, you'll be shown the way. Bow, you are highly thought of. Bow, you are highly thought of. And we'll pull a uh, fortune cookie for you or fairy dust signs your future positive direction will soon reveal itself any doubts or confusion will disappear property a property purchase or sale for many but heed security concerns in any transactions 
I also have celebrate the time is right to jump out out loud don't hesitate to jump around and then play step outside feel the Sun breathe the air play and have some fun and that's what I've got for you Aquarius sending you light and love thanks for joining me bye bye